My name is Courtney Wolf. I own Wolf House Canine. Uh, we're a pet training business, and then I do a little bit of dog vending, working dogs and sports stuff with Canine Street League. My company specializes in pet obedience primarily. We've built and sold a handful of working patrol dogs, uh, but I do that more as a passion project. Uh, pet obedience is the bread and butter of our business. In 2017, I was working security at a facility in Detroit, Michigan that used dogs for perimeter security. That was my first experience with working dogs. If I'd have known that was a thing, I would have done that in the military, you know, uh, instead of what I did. Uh, I joined in 2005. Um, they showed me a video of guys riding dirt bikes and kicking indoors, and I was like, absolutely, I want to do that. Uh, I volunteered to go to airborne school to get out of being in a mechanized unit because I didn't want to be in a Bradley. Deployed with the 82nd Airborne Division to Afghanistan. Uh, did 12 months over there. and got out, went to school. I went to college to study political science at IU. And then uh, I was training in martial arts at that time, transitioned from school into competitive martial arts. I trained with American Top Team here in Florida, uh, which brought me here. Since I started getting into the canine world, my experience was, was super fortunate in that I lived really close to Jason Davis, who was the highest scoring French ring level three national champion in the history of the United States. And I was neighbors with Carlos Ramirez. The first two guys that taught me anything about dogs just happened to be two of the best to ever do it. Um, and so my experience was probably fast track compared to a lot of people, but uh, I got good instructions and I was able to get by without developing a lot of bad habits as I got into the industry. Here at HITS, I'll be teaching, we teach a defensive tactics course for canine handlers, taking into consideration the location of the bite uh, for the dog. So this is an effective way to put a guy on the ground and put him in cuffs that prevents injury to the dog, injury to the suspect, and limits the amount of time the dog needs to be on the bite. My goal uh, in canine in general is just to uh, explore and be the best version of myself and help guys that I support and I look up to be the best versions of themselves through either the instructions that I provide or the dogs that I'm able to provide. So my favorite piece of Ray Allen equipment right now is the primal canine gauntlets that go underneath the, uh, the body suits. Uh, with the primal canine gauntlets, I'm able to get away with using just a comp weight bite suit, even if I'm working with these hard biting patrol dogs. And I can kind of mix and match depending on where the scenario is. I don't think there's a piece of equipment that allows for more mobility from the decoys perspective and still provides the degree of protection that it does. My involvement in Canine Street League came from going to a camp in Memphis, Tennessee. I was told that if I got selected, I would get two free bite suits, which was the original deal. I was super excited, came in, met Mike Jones. Up until this point, I had sort of taken pride in being a training decoy. I didn't really have a lot of aspirations to get into the trial side of it. Um, but I'm a big fan of Mike Jones. I appreciate the attitude, the motivation, the hustle that he brings into the industry. And he's exactly the type of person I try to surround myself with. Um, so right now, the plan is just to stay involved, support Mike, and see where it goes without too much of an expectation uh, for what we're doing or where. So I can be found on social media, on Instagram, at uh, Wolfhouse Canine, W-O-L-F-H-A-U-S Canine. Uh, Instagram, Wolfhouse Canine, or my name, Courtney Wolf. Uh, website, WolfhouseCanine.com. Uh, we're also on Facebook under me, Courtney Wolf, or uh, Wolfhouse Canine. Come <laughs> on.